Mr. Kessler, as you can see, why he's the, he's the king of crankbaits. Look at the way he keeps them. The interesting thing, he does this little rubber band technique. What he does is take a rubber band, hooks it around one eye like this, and you just wrap it around it tight like this. And then just take the last bit and just put it over the hook. And there it is, you throw it right in there and you can just keep them in a big box. So what's my color, Alex? You say this guy right here? Yeah, it might be a real good one. That one or right there? Or do you want there? to go, go that brown, if you can find, find one of these brown ones, that one there, that's really hot. Brownie? Brown, oh yeah. Okay. Orangey brownie in here? See, and you just take good it, color. unwrap them. You go like that. But the thing is, it's a great way to keep your crankbaits in line. I was actually thinking about actually changing my crankbait selection to run like that. What it is, is you can actually make, just cast the bait out a distance in back of the boat, reel it down, and the bait hits 12 foot almost instantaneously, and that bait is functioning. So it's really efficient. Got him. Got him. Good one. Good one? Well. There's one every there we go. Oh, that's a nice That's a fatty. Oh, man. Is that wild? Oh, beauty. Oh, there, there we go. Now we're talking. How do you like that? That's Pop them right out of the net. Look at that gorgeous. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Got one, sir? Yep. Any he wait? I hear a little drag. Oh, he's bowling around. I don't know. He might be hooked on the cheek or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a nice waldo. Yep. Little waldo. Come here, bud. Boy, he ate it. Oh, nice. Look at us. Look at how stocky that fish is. It's like a football. One thing you'll notice is actually for it's sort of interesting. Alex uses a lot of uh crankbaits that are actually deeper diving baits than you would think about. Like he, you're pulling what, a tail dancer right yeah. now that would run how deep? Probably uh, on the braid it'll run about 17 to 20 feet and we're running it in uh, 7 to 11 feet. Why do you why do you run that bait? There's a specific reason that's yes. why I'm a asking. I, I call it like a playing forward bait. As soon as it hits something the hooks lift and it always pushes up forward like this constantly. Very yeah. snag free in shallow water, a lot of people don't know that. That is a huge asset to when you're fishing shallow water. There's one, there we go. Today we're fishing a high speed run and gun approach. Generally, we'll only spend 10 to 15 minutes trolling on any given spot. Whoop, oh, there, there's there a good one. one. I got one too. Good one there. Double one. That's a bet, yeah, oh. that, I got a better one here. The walleyes we're fishing for are aggressively hunting on these shallow flats, so it doesn't take long to get bit. Oh yeah, look at that, easy angry, look at that. A wide array of crankbaits can be used for walleyes depending on the depth of water and technique. Today we're using two key trolling baits, a 20 foot Trolls 2 Minnow and a 20 foot Deep Tail Dancer. Both of these long build baits have a wide vibration pattern and are amazingly snag resistant. One thing that's important to realize, we're really trolling with oversized baits in shallow water. Today we've been catching a lot of fish in the 5 to 12 foot range. These deep diving baits minimize the amount of line you need out, in turn you have better lure control. This tactic is a real precision trolling technique. One of my uh, most uh, important pieces of equipment is my uh, Mercury 99 Pro Kicker. Uh, I fish lots of uh, walleye tournaments and speed is such a big key when you're fishing with bottom bouncers, crank baits, live bait rigging, and uh, it can really dial in on, on the particular way we have to fish for that day. Right now we're in fairly heavy current. We're sucked up against the bank. We're looking for uh, shallow, hungry, bigger fish. And I gotta keep the speed about one mile an hour for our crank baits to tick the bottom and it allows us one mile an hour to have a good forward progress where we're covering the area real quick. So the kicker is so important. Once you have the speed dialed in, the crank you're using, the current, calm water, wherever the conditions is, when you have it all together, success. Yeah. That's what it equals. Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com. And thanks for watching.